What's up guys, BlackCall0 and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2019 for the following of the Team Sunweb career mode um, as we are, have started the Giro in the previous episodes and previous episodes, sorry, in which we did a stage 1 to 5 uh, today we'll do stage 6 to 11 starting with the stage uh, in, um, well, starting in Casino to San Giovanni Rotondo then uh, Vasto L'Aquila uh, Tortoreto Lido Pesaro, and then the time trial between Ricchione and San Marino, and finally two sprint stages, uh, Ravenna Modena and Carpi Novi Ligure. Uh, so no mountain as of yet, but uh, it will come back. Well, it will come one day in the third episode of the Giro. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's jump in. Casino San, Rovani San Giovanni Rotondo. Let's go. As the peloton leaves a Casino for um, 230 kilometers. Sam Moment already at the front with um, Tom, Tom Dumoulin on the plus three today. Um, his fitness has went up again. And uh, wait a minute, doesn't didn't he get an upgrade? He may have progressed during the during like well from just well the last episode to now, which I mean I'll take it. That's that's just great. That's just incredible. Let's go. Okay, so Tom Dumoulin has progressed, which is all good, uh, knowing that we, we want to get the jersey um, once again. Already some attacks, not going to send anyone in the break. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to let the peloton do their thing. I don't even have to pay for the, like, the jersey anymore, because I'm not the leader uh, not the leader of the team anymore. Uh, so that's just all good. Okay, uh, we're halfway through the stage, we're going to make a sit rep to see uh, who's in the break. We find um, Mauro Fraporti for Androni Gucatoli, Guiz Van Hoek for CCC, Mauro Senei for Bardiani, Reto Hollenstein for Katusha, um, Gustavo Lonardi, I think, for Nipo, Fant for Nipo Vini Fantini, Kevin Jeunet for Groupe MFDG, Julien Duval for Age de la Mondiale, uh, Fonzi for Neri Sotoli, Nathan Brown, the former Polka Dodge on the Tour de France for EF. Uh, oh, there's, wait, there's both Frapportis. So is that Marco Frapporti then? I think, Marco. Uh, then you've got Zacanti for Nipo, Fantini, for Nipo Vini Fantini. Uh, with a G? I don't know this guy. A G. Uh, Geoffrey Bouchard. Oh, very well. Glad uh, to, to know you. Geoffrey Bouchard in the break as well for Alvizer. And finally, Simone Velasco for Vini, uh, for Neri Sotoli. So, 13 men group, 3 minutes is their lead. Um, the peloton has been paced by Matei Moritz for like the past 50 kilometers now. Um, so, yeah, like things are going to get interesting when we'll reach the uh, Coppa Casarinelle, but not before. Okay, we're at the intermediate sprint, which means we're at the very bottom of uh, the Copa Casarinelle. The uh, breakaway has already started the climb, the peloton is about to do so uh, in a few meters now. We're going to take a, a right turn to uh, go in this climb, there we go. 16 kilometers, an average gradient just under 4%, so it's, it's not going to make uh, like major differences, but uh, it's still like, is going to hurt the legs. Where's Jay Hindley? I need Jay Hindley in my train as well. I can't do a two-man train. That's that's just not gonna work. Um, oh, do I put Jay Hindley in the wheel of Leonard Kemner? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, Leonard Kemner is gonna try and come back at the front. Some moment keeping Tom Dumoulin um, as well at the front. That's just what we have to do in like not do anything silly. All right, I'm not gonna lie. We're struggling to like have an actual working train because everyone keeps getting blocked like it's just been it's just been that the entire climb um but hopefully we can find a gap on the right hand side now come on sam you've got this you've got this you've got this jay hindley is struggling in the world of Leonard kemner which i didn't expect i expected the other i expected like kemner to struggle more than jay hindley but both are going to collapse before the like if, if, before we even reach 0.5 Samuman got blocked once again, and once again, I think in this save, like, I just keep getting blocked, no matter, like, the race, it just happens, 
I'm always being blocked in this save. Uh, we're going to move Leonard Kemner because he's definitely going to, like, to block someone if I hadn't moved him. Uh, and by someone I meant Sam Owen. Uh, come on, like, there's a gap on the left. Come on, fam. Just be smart. How is René Wigan still here? I mean, I guess the, the pace is really not that high, but still. Uh, okay. Alright, let's let's think for a second. Um, should I... Okay, well, I was about to say, should I attack? Um, Bauke Mollem and Nibali and all them lot answered that for me. I I'll guess the answer is yes. How is René Wigan attacking here? This, this man is something else. Um, we're going to attack in like the um, little climb just after. We're going to take the points already at the Copa Casarinelle, uh, which puts me virtual, well no, not virtual, which puts me best climber. There's been a crash behind me. There's been a big, big crash. Mikel Landa is down, Bauke Mollema, Dan Martin. Huge, huge crash. Uh, everyone is l coming back except Alexis Goujar, who's out of the Giro. Uh, that's uh, that's disappointing. Patrick Bevin struggling to keep the wheel of Tom Dumoulin. There's the attack. There's the attack of Tom Dumoulin, trying to get the jersey once again on my shoulders. And I'm not going to wait for the sprint this time. Um, we're going to make sure that some woman like does a, a, a good climb here. Seven kilometers to go. Andrea Amador trying to pace, trying to chase. The, uh, the Dutchman, the winner of the 2016 Giro? 2017. I can't remember. Uh, Egan Bernal himself in pursuit. Okay, that's that's interesting. Why isn't Dylan Van Baal pacing, for example? Okay, weird. Um, I mean, at this rate, I should keep the jersey. But uh, you never know. You never know. 20 seconds. If they sprint, they could easily catch me. Come on. Just hold on. Why is no Peter Sagan? Why do you sprint now? Can't you just wait? He's gonna catch me. He's going to catch me. Yep, uh, and that's gonna be a uh, an L for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the jersey back. Peter Sagan is just <laughs> he's too good. He sprinted from three kilometers to the line, and he wins ahead of Egan Bernal, Richard Carapaz, David Form uh, Nibali in Formula. Tony Olaf brings up seventh position. Um, could have been better, but uh, I, you know what, I attacked. I, I showed some courage, some strength, and uh, that's that's already something. And we start the episode by a seventh position with Tom Dumoulin. Uh, there is no like a gap with the rest of the peloton. Uh, Nero Quintana losing a minute, Mark Sola, Henrik Mas, um, then already 240 for like. Adam Yates, Dan Martin, Simon Yates, Bauke Mollema, uh, Mikel Landa, Primoz Roglic. That is huge. That's huge. R Roglic losing 2 minutes 40 over like this group and mainly myself. As is my main rival for like the GC I think because of the time trial. Okay, huge, huge uh, result for uh, for Dumoulin even if we don't get the win. Um, okay, let's go for the next stage. Vasto L'Aquila, 180 kilometers. And this time, hopefully, we'll have more luck. We're on the way for the uh, seventh stage of the Giro to finish the first week between Vasto and L'Aquila. Tom Dumoulin has a distinctive jersey on his shoulders, the um, Maglia Cyclamen, for uh, the best climber. No, sorry, for being the second best um, sprinter, technically, or like second in the point certification. Um, I'm going to guess Bernal is first. It would make sense. Yeah, he is. Bernal is... Oh, wow, he's everywhere. Uh, we're going to send Mark Hirschi in the break today. I just realized, like, all my riders are struggling fitness-wise. Uh, I, I mean, I'm guessing I may have done, like, too many races with some of my guys earlier in the, in the year, which, now that I think about it, is clearly obvious. But that was, like, my first time doing an actual planner for the season. Uh, and, yeah, it's not, no ideal. Not the best at it. Uh, Danny Van Poppel is the second best in the, class in the mountain classification. You love to see it. Um, okay, Mark Hirschi in the break. I reckon this break can go to the end. Uh, end of the first week of the Giro. 
the guys are going to try and rest a bit. I think we've got. I think there's potential here. At least I hope so. Um, we're going to go through the breakaway. There's Mikel Holy Honore, Kevin Junietz, Francisco Ventodo, Viel, Marc Hirschi, Julius Vandenberg, Olivier Legac, Lucas Ogin, uh, Maronese, Simone Velasco, Luca Rosini, and behind uh, there's a five man group uh, with Julien Duval, uh, Pessot, um, Zacante, Sean Bennett, and uh, finally Marchetti. Okay. Uh, 167 kilometers to go. Breakaway is nearly three minutes ahead of the peloton, um, and for once we've got someone ahead. All right, sit rep. I thought the breakaway could go to the end, uh, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen because we're only 130 ahead, and like I don't understand why the peloton is pacing that much. There's still 80 kilometers to go. Some riders are getting dropped, that's the case of Roy Cabus for us. Uh, even if he's on a potential 71 field, my man can't stay in the wheel of Fraporti and Ben Fato. Um, I think it's time to call it a day for Roy Cabus, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, I don't understand why the, the breakaway is struggling this much to get a gap. I actually don't understand, but uh, I'll have to deal with it. Okay, we've started the uh, climb of the uh, Svolte di Popoli, uh, so something about the people. Um, that, that's all I can gather from uh, from this climb, and I'm sorry about that. We're gonna we, we're trying to give water with Louis Vavek, but it's proving to be uh, quite a tough task for uh, for him. And I, again, don't understand why you're a climber. Like that's literally your that's where you excel. That's where you're meant to be good. Um, but yeah, um, we're gonna. Well, I mean, he's gonna try his best to come back. Sam Oman and Tom Dumont are at the front. They're the only guys managed who managed to like stay up there. It's it really is a shit show. It is a shit show right now. Um, but we still have a break. Here she's still in, still up ahead. Uh, we're going to follow the attacks here of um, the county Bennett. And Velasco, and uh, we'll probably counter attack uh, when we feel the need to. Vavek still hasn't managed to give water to Sam Oman and Tom Dumoulin. Like, come on, I'm just asking you to give water, not to climb the Alpe d'Huez, mate. Oh, he's he's got Sam Oman. And come on, you've got this, you've got this. Come on, it's in your head, fam. Go on, go on. Come on, five more meters. Hey, my guy, big up who you have. Leonard Kemner got dropped. Not an easy start of the tour for Leonard Kemner. So the peloton just cross. Um, by 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 me by us, I mean the breakaway, and uh, the rhythm has completely slowed down. So I'm thinking that they didn't want Mark Hirschi in the break. Uh, it probably is the actual reason why I wasn't allowed, why the breakaway wasn't allowed some time, even if Mark Hirschi is ten minutes down. Just, it's m mind boggling. There's an attack from Bauke Molema. Uh, I mean, you're like f five minutes or three minutes down. You'll be five minutes down after both time trials. So you're, you're free to go, big man. Wes Bernal is in my wheel, as, as always. Um, okay, let's make sure not to uh, be uh, in a bad position there. I don't want to do what I did on the Vuelta. Uh, I don't know if the Vuelta stage was uploaded. By the time I'm like recording, well, by the time I'm recording this, uh, it clearly isn't. But you never know. I don't want to spoil anyone. There goes Sam Oman, sprinting for Tom Dumoulin. Tom Dumoulin is going to make his effort right now. It's going to be Tom Dumoulin versus Egan Bernal. Uh, wait, before we continue the, the sprint, we're going to sprint with everyone. Tom Dumoulin against Egan Bernal is going to be a win for Tom Dumoulin ahead of Egan Bernal in L'Aquila. Uh, Adam Yates and Bauke uh, are in uh, third and fourth. I think there's probably going to be a gap with uh, Dumoulin, Bernal and Yates over the rest of the guys. Um, we're getting four seconds back on Egan Bernal. We are now four seconds behind the Colombian. It's a second win on this zero for Tom Dumoulin after winning the inaugural prologue. He wins the seventh stage from Vaso to Aquila. Uh, and there is a 12 second gap with the rest of the peloton. 
Um, but with that in mind, Tom Dumoulin is now second of the GC, only four seconds behind Egan Bernal. Uh, I mean, Bernal is good, and if he's managing to to keep up with me on like sprints, I don't know what's gonna happen, but that's not good for me. Uh, tomorrow stage, 230 kilometers, flat terrain. Uh, well, use the guys. Well, rest the guys a bit, and um, hopefully we can do something in the sprints. But let's go. Okay, uh, we started the uh, eighth stage, 230 kilometers. Like. Why are stages on the Giro that long? Why? I don't get it. It's just flat. If it was like, I don't know, mountain or, or something. But no, it's it's even worse than like the stages in Brittany in France when you're like going from, I don't know, Angers to Rouen, which is like 250 kilometers of motorway. Like, come on. Allow it. Give us something to work with because there's no content in 240 kilometers of flat. There is no content whatsoever. Right, the um, first interesting thing, I guess, of this stage uh, is arriving in 3 kilometers, the summit of the Monte de la Matera. Um, and uh, the focus right now is on Merco Maestri. He's not the, well, he's probably like one of the worst riders in this break when it comes to hills. But he's currently um, the highest, like, placed, no, the highest um, guy in the mountain classification with 6 points. So. You never know, maybe he's like, if he can overtake uh, Polit or Bergioli, which I don't think he will. No, he won't. Okay, good. Zero point for Marco Mestri, seven points for Niels Polit. Um, I'm still on 14, so no, mathematically speaking, it's impossible for anyone to overtake me uh, today. So Tom Dumoulin will keep the best climber jersey. Uh, the breakaway is still three minutes up ahead, so we're gonna have to like do some work behind Because um, I still want to catch them um, Final climb though for the break Andrea Van Drame pacing uh, in the uh, Gabi Cemonte And he's the only one to attack right now. Well the first one to attack should I say He's followed by Nicolo Bergioli, Sebastian Langeveld, uh, Davide Villela. I didn't even know Villela was in the break And it's gonna be three points for Andrea Van Drame 23 kilometers to go, the peloton is 2 minutes 40 behind uh, this 5 man group and it's an attack by Sebastian Langeveld. Langeveld is pursuing his attack with Davide Villela. Okay, that might, we may have the first breakaway, oh my god why is my old team behind? But we may have like the first winning breakaway there. Well then we will have the first breakaway, uh, like the first winning breakaway. Because the gap is now 3.30, the peloton completely stopped um, because, uh, well, there was like an echelon in which all my team were, uh, and um, I'm gonna guess like Bora's leader was also there, so that's why they completely stopped pacing. Um, and with that in mind, well, the breakaway is 3.20 ahead. Uh, is it still Langeveld Villela? No, it's just Langeveld right now who's made an attack. Vendrame Villela, Bugioli, Nils Polit, and Sebastian Langeveld are going to fight for the win today. Yeah, we're pacing 99, but there's no use. There is no use. Uh, Nils Polit is going to make a nice comeback GC-wise. He was only 4 minutes behind, so that's going to be a, a good move for uh, the GC of the Katusha Rada, even though like, he has absolutely nothing to do in the GC, but it's still like a nice coming back performance. Who got dropped here? Alexander Kristoff, I don't, don't really care about him. Uh, Samoan pacing. It's not going to be Leonard Kemner pacing. Like, we're still gonna try and pace a bit, because why not? Why not? Uh, attack in the peloton, Enric Mas, really? Attack in? Okay. Well, you're gonna stay behind. Uh, oh, Roglic has attacked as well. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. Um, who's leading? Nils Polit leading the way. Bergioli, Vendrame, Villela in the wheel. I'm gonna call v Vendrame for the win. Uh, He's looking good, but Villela, Davide Villela, nice comeback. And the win is for Sebastian Langeveld. He attacked, well, like 17 times, and he's still going to win. Well done to him. Great win from Sebastian Langeveld. And to lead the peloton, it'll be Pascal Ackerman ahead of uh, Andrea Amador and Tom Dumoulin, who takes 8th position in the 8th stage of the Giro. And while Niels Polit, one of the Germans for Katusha, brings home 4th position, 
is the end of the tour for Rick Zabel, for, for, who's completely out. He still has 10 minutes to go. He's already out of the delays on a considered sprint stage. That's very odd. That's very odd. It's the first breakaway to win on this Giro. It's Sebastian Langeveld for EF. We bring him 8th position. There isn't a single change in the GC. Uh, we're still 4 seconds behind Egan Bernal. Uh, we're strengthened, well, only one point uh, in the lead in the point classification. Um, oh, wait, actually, we're going, wait, didn't we just, like, overtake Bernal in the point classification? Uh, we got eight, he got four. Yeah, okay, so we did overtake Bernal in the point classification today. Um, we're still leading the Mountain 1. Again, Bernal obviously still losing, still leading, sorry, the uh, white one. Nils Polit is, is in the white classification? Damn, I thought it was like 26. Okay. In, uh, best team, Movistar. As we are now are going to do the time trial um, and expect a lot of GC change, a lot of change in the GC between the Riccione and San Marino. We have a fast rider uh, on track. It's Roy Carvers. He left Riccione for 33 kilometers. Um, to say that I'm expecting a good performance from Roy Carvers would be a uh, a, a total lie. Like the guy gets dropped on flat stages, and it's a mountain time trial. He's got 55 mountains, 60 time trial. Do you see where I'm going with this? Because that's straight up last position for a covers. He's in a fitness peak. I don't even know why he has fitness. I don't even know why he's still racing. He's useless, absolutely useless. But I mean, he's he's still in the team, so we need to take care of him in this time trial. Um, I I don't know like I don't know if Tom Dumoulin will gain that much time on anyone else. Uh, I'm expecting a win, obviously. If I can get like 30, 40 seconds on Bernal, that'd be a win, I think, because he's better than me in mountain, and this time trial it really relies on the mountain stats. So we shall ha we we shall see. Okay, I really overestimated uh, Roy Carver's abilities. He's now pacing 64, trying to uh, reach the line. We overtook one guy. Uh, I think it's Marco Simeon. Yeah, I think it is. Um, but it's not. It's not good. It's not good. Andrea Garros, you have taken the first time. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was. He's the best climber that crossed the line. So it, was, it does. Well, it, it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, Roy Carvers probably is going to get shafted when it comes to uh, this time trial. Alright, Chad Hager on the starting line. Um, I, I don't understand what just, what just happened because, um, I mean, so Roy Carvers is 8 minutes down, which is a fact. Uh, for a long time, like, Emmanuel Gibbeck Xavier was in the lead. And then I checked, I saw 124th of the GC, because I was looking down at like, the, the um, riders just to check like who's got the highest mountain stats so I can like, watch him. And then I see 81 mountains, 76 time trial. So I'm like, what the fuck? And Emmanuel Buchmann is 24 minutes down already. Uh, after 8 stages. Without a single stage considered as mountain. So, yeah. I, I don't know what happened with Emmanuel Buchmann. But um, maybe it's his chance, it's, sorry, his chance to redeem himself today. Uh, he's only 30 seconds ahead of Louis Mentis, so I'd, I'm not thinking that Bochman has made the best time trial of his life. Uh, I still think he's going to get destroyed by the likes of Bernal, Roglic, or hopefully myself. Um, but you never know. Meanwhile, Chad is uh, on track. Again, he, he, I don't think he's going to do well. He's, he appears to be struggling. Uh, he's not in a good shape, well, fitness-wise. Uh, the good thing is got Guarnieri behind him, so he's not going to get overtaken. Um, but we're going to check at the first intermediate time. Chad Hager compared to Julius Vandenberg. It's, it's the first time, 12 seconds ahead of him. Right, and as I, su uh, as I suspected, Dario Cataldo is now a minute ahead of Buchmann. So Buchmann is just completely out of form, out of fitness. Chad Hager, though, first uh, in Faetano as well. As he's now uh, in the uh, well main climb of San Marino. Sebastian Reichenbach has taken the first time in San Marino, but Chalega is uh, the next one to cross the line. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be first time because he's not the best climber compared to Sebastian Reichenbach. 
but I'm by far the best time trialist. And on the line, it's first time for Chadega. First time for the American. A great job. Um, yeah, it was going to be a nice battle with Lawson Craddock as well. America is doing well on this time trial. Gee, look at them. All right, we've we've got someone who, if in shape, could have done a good job today. Leonard Kemner leaves um, the starting uh, the starting down, but um, again, minus two for him, minus two for Jay Lee, minus three for Mark Hershey. My entire team is struggling with shape and fitness. Uh, I I didn't like a horrendous job, like in to prepare for this Jiro. I'm not gonna lie, way too much races for uh, for my guys. And I mean, I'm paying the full price right now. Uh, thank God Dumoulin is still like in a decent shape. Kirienka, first time in San Marino. Um, but yeah, it's definitely disappointing. Sam Oman starting the current, the time trial. Minus three as well for him. I, I, I beg Dumoulin is in a good shape. Because if, like, if not, my entire team today has been on a minus, except Roy Kavus. And that is unacceptable. Um, all the, but. As I said earlier, good day for America. TJ Van Galeren has taken the first time ahead of, Va of Vasily Kyrienka over a minute quicker than uh, the former world champion. Then again, uh, Kyrienka isn't as good as he used to be, uh, whether it's in time trial or in the mountains. Uh, but good time trial for TJ. It's good to see him like in good shape because um, he's still good on his day. And that's like one day per year because the other time he's literally on the floor and he's down because he fell. Right, Leonard Kemner crossing the line in San Marino. Ninth position for Leonard, despite being on a uh, on an, like a bowling uh, or an abysmal fitness. Um, San Marino, and next up we'll have Tom Dumoulin trying to get the jazz once again thanks to a time trial. Okay, well, um, I think I think that just like answers all my questions do you have someone in shape yes yes i do tom dumoulin plus three 85 mountains 83 time trials 89 hills uh be ready to witness demolition in this time trial nero quintana second time tj has done a very good time trial i'm happy for him i'm like i don't know if you've been following my world to play through but uh tj had to withdraw from the tour after the stage after stage two which is the most TJ Van Galeren thing to ever do, like he's ever done. But uh, I'm happy for him to see him like leading a time trial. Not for long, because I'm going to guess people like Caruso are going to overtake him, um, because he overtook me. Um, or Primo Roglic. Is Primo Roglic already started? Oh yeah, because he fell, didn't he? He did. He did fail, okay. Uh, but I'm at the end of the day, Dumoulin will win this, and that's the thing you need to like remember. Okay, um, Dumoulin is approaching the second intermediate time now. He was one second ahead of uh, Victor Campenarts. But uh, if you take a look at the end, Primo Roglic is leading in San Marino. 28 seconds ahead of Volker Molimer, 48 ahead of Adam Yates, 52 is again a minute on TJ Van Galeren. Second intermediate time, 15 seconds is the lead for Tom Dumoulin ahead of uh, Campenarts, 26 over Primo Roglic. Uh, I think we're on a good day today. Bernal, Bernal only 30 seconds down. So I'd only gain 30 seconds right now on Egan Bernal, which is kind of disappointing if I'm being truly honest. I I'm expecting much more than like 30 seconds. I'm expecting him to like lose a minute, minute 30 now, considering my form, well, my fitness, should I say. Uh, do you want against Nibali now? Uh, Alright, let let's go. All right, I'm going to make sure that uh, Dumoulin doesn't use too much of his energy before the uh, finish line, because this... It's still a wall, and uh, well, we need some energy to climb it. Uh, Dumoulin is going to finish just behind Vincenzo Nibali uh, on like road, but in the standings, Tom Dumoulin 143 mi quicker than Primoz Roglic, two minutes quicker than Vincenzo Nibali, 2.11 sorry quicker than Monoma. But the main question is, where is Egan Bernal compared to Tom Dumoulin? Is he going to be like 10 seconds down, which would be the most Egan Bernal thing ever? He only loses a minute. He only loses a minute. Egan Bernal just, just, like put forty seconds. Got he was forty seconds quicker than Primoz Roglic. This 
man is a machine. The Ineos team and PCM is unbeatable. Nevertheless, though, we still retain, well, we get the pink jersey back uh, after having lost it on stage 4. Bernal is second, 57 seconds down. Uh, the rest of the GC won't be able to win this tour, whether it's Vincenzo, anybody, or Primo Roglic. They're already too, minute, too far down now, uh, unless there's like a massive crash or they win a breakaway. The mountain jersey stays on my shoulders. The points jersey is going to stay on my shoulders as well. Um, and Besson Grada is the only thing that Bernal has now. Okay, I mean, it was a good time trial. No, I mean, I win. I win by like a massive margin. But with my shape and the fitness I had, I was truly hoping to like destroy Egan Bernal. When I saw I was 143 ahead of Primo Roglic, uh, in my head I was like, okay, good. That's two minutes on Bernal. That's literally like the zero is one. But no, because Egan Bernal doesn't disappoint and he doesn't mess around my man won uh, if it hadn't been me right bernal would be first 42 seconds quicker than primo Roglic. let that sink in all right a minute five ahead of vincenzo nibeli two minutes ahead of nero quintana that is that's mad like it it's mad it's I don't have the words. Uh, I actually don't have the words. Let's check who's last. It's Ben Fato. 20 minutes. Oh, good. My man could have been all delay, like out of the delays on the time trial. Roy Kervis only losing 13 minutes. Way, what a lad. Uh, all right. Well, enough uh, of that. Next stage, Ravenna Modena. It's as flat as it's going to ever get. So let's get this out of the way. Right, and this stage is on the way. Leonard Kemner is in minus five. Fam, is this like the first race of the season, Tour Down Under? Or are you actually able to race? Look at this! That is... That's sad. Like, I'm, I'm like this close from retiring him from the race. Just so that he can rest. Because he's useless to me. He has one stat ahead of 70, which is mountain, and it's 70. Then he's got plenty of stats under, like, 65. 56 stamina, 59 resistance, 64 recovery. That is so bad. That's so bad. Okay, well, we're going to have to deal with that. But, yeah, definitely not happy with this situation. Right, well, this has been... Uh, Boring for for once. I think boring is the word I'd use. There's one guy dropped. That's that's Garcia Cortina. Okay, I didn't expect that at all. Uh, the breakaway is still trying to be there. You've got um, Nils Polit once again, uh, Michael Goggle, Nicolas Mays, Ben Fato, and uh, Lonardi. But they're going to get caught up by uh, the peloton. We're going to make our train. Our glorious train with Tom Dumoulin, Marc Hirschi, and Roy Carvus. And Chad Hager as well. We're going to put Chad Hager in there. Uh, usually I'd put Sam Oman, but nah, I don't want to. Not this time. Um, 14k to go. And uh, yeah, it, I, I, don't, I haven't felt a lot of um, excitement when doing this stage. Uh, I won't lie. Okay, 5k to go. Um, before... The starting, the uh, finish line, sorry, in, Mo in uh, Modena, the uh, home of Ferrari, if I'm correct, uh, and I hope I am, I hope I am, um, but yeah, we're going to make the sprint, Rene Wigan against Tom Dumoulin, who will be the fastest Dutchman on this uh, stage of the Giro, uh, we shall see, well, not me, because Marc Hirschi got blocked by, who's that? is that Antoine Toluc, fuck's sake. And the win today, to no one's surprise, is Dylan Ronewegen. Not only is he the fastest Dutchman, he's also the fastest in this stage. Um, Ronewegen, Vnizolo, Viviani, Ackerman, Alvorsen, Colbrelli, Gaviria, Trentin, Hirschi, and Dumoulin. Oh, uh, yeah. Woohoo. Really happy about that. Well, after this exciting 10th stage, get ready for 
an even more exciting 11th one between Carpi and Novi Ligure. Uh, yeah, let's just go and get this done because uh, I'm eager to have some mountain, or at least like a climb, but just, just one climb, please. Another day and another minus five. This time it's Chad Hager. Um, as we leave Carpi for 200 kilometers of flatness. Like, this ain't the. It, it's, it's literally like the Bing Bong Tour. It's flat. There's nothing to do. No, you know what? Even the Bing Bong Tour has more hills than this stage. And that's saying something. Just look. Where's the excitement in that stage? I'm pretty sure even a sprinter would get bored. Imagine doing 200 kilometers of literally nothing. For like three kilometers of an effort of effort, like usually you'd fight for like, like even on the on the tour you'd fight for like the intermediate stage or like the intermediate sprint. Sorry, here you can't if there's a breakaway of more than five people, which is usually the case on the Grand Tour. It's just, it's just shit. It just it just is. Like uh, there is no point in having those stages. I don't. I mean. If it was like a um, like a great landscape or something like I'm not I don't know Italy that much, but I'm not sure there is great landscapes between Carpi and Novi Ligure. All right, so something happened for once. Pascal Ackerman fell, and to my surprise, Pete Sagan is waiting him with Sam Bennett. Do you? Do do you get uh, what I'm, where I'm going? They've got three sprinters on the Giro, and not like the kind of sprinters I could have, like Nikas Arndt or, I don't know, uh, who's slow in my team? Max Kanta, for example. Sorry, Max. Uh, but they have Peter Sagan and Sam Bennett waiting Pascal Ackerman. That is huge. Like, why can't they wait? I don't, they've got Buchmann. Buchmann is like... A, a much more use is much more useful than like a Bennett for example because like Ackerman is going to come back but Shagan and Bennett are done for they're probably not going to be able to sprint uh, I don't even like will they come back most likely but look, that's that is one of the weirdest decisions I've ever seen in my life um, nonetheless 50k to go 220 is the gap for the breakaway 220 is also the gap over Sam Bennett Let's continue this. Alright, time to make a train. Uh, Dumoulin, Hershey, Carvers. Uh, actually, Dumoulin, Carvers, Hershey. Um, Sam Oman. I really want to have Chad Hager, but he's lacking fitness. Um, if you want like some uh, insight on um, well, the Bora situation, Ackerman is, is dropped. Badnar and Bennett are dropped, and Peter Sagan is dropped. Yeah, that's one of the best strategies I've ever seen. There's a crash in the peloton that Louis Mentis did. They bring anyone with him? No. Is he going to continue the race? Yes. Uh, where's Chad Hager? All right, Chad Hager, you're going to pace for Sam Oman. And we're going to catch Nils Polite is in the break once again. Ma like, stop it. Stop going in the break every day. Like you're gonna end up like Chad Hager and have no fitness for the re remainder of the season at this rate. 7k to go though. Chad Hager pacing as we are approach Novi Ligure. Alright, come on. Uh, is that echelons? Really? Okay, yeah, no, I don't know. I don't even know where the echelon starts, so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead with a a solid no. Come on, Chad Hager. Launching um, Sam Omen as we approach Novi Ligure. Less than three kilometers to go. No, sorry, just under, just over three kilometers to go. Now, 3k to go. Mark Hershey has started his effort. Mike Tunison, Ronovegan, Viviane. Yeah, but you lot are, are nothing compared to uh, the almighty Tom Dumoulin and the great Roy Carvus. Alright, we're, we're, we're gonna get top five, aren't we? No? Sixth? Seventh? Seventh place. Yeah, could could have been better. The win is for Gaviria ahead of Viviani, Colbrelli, Ronovigan, Halvorsen, Trentin, Dumoulin, Carvus, Phil Bauhaus, uh, and Andrea Amador. 
the I do like the fact that despite the the stages being completely and utterly useless, um, the sprints are quite diverse because Viviani won like the first stage, uh, then I think Ronevigan got one, then Viviani's got uh, then sorry, Viviani's got one, then I think Ronevigan has one, maybe Bennett had one, uh, and Gaviriana has one. Like that's that's good. There's some diversity. We we love that. Uh, 36k to uh, 36 minutes. Sorry is uh, the uh, time limit, so it should be uh, all good for the Bora Hansgrohe team. But that is one of the worst strategies I have ever seen in my in my entire life playing PCM. Right, Gaviria ends uh, this episode with a win. Viviani second, Corbelli third. Jumel brings home seventh position, uh, so he still gets nine points for the points jersey. Still, he's now twenty points ahead of Egan Bernal, um, and uh, yeah, that's the end of the eleventh, uh, no, seventeenth episode of the uh, no, of the Team Sunweb career mode. Jeez, I'm gonna do it, uh, and I'll see you next time for an episode with finally some mountain in which we can finally compete. But yeah, I've been Blacko. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys, and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. But I'm all the man they feeding. I don't wanna go bomb Them I don't know what I do when I go from bealing. Leading the pack in black and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with the duster. Put him in a drip and sip blockbuster.